If you have been following our YouTube channel for a while, you know that we constantly mention our monthly video newsletter that we offer through Mink Learning. Well, in this video, we will share with you our October 2021 newsletter on the Sacramento Kings Arctos deal. To receive our unique video newsletter for free, just sign up using the link in the description. Now, without further ado, here is the video we made on the Sacramento Kings Arctos deal. In this edition of Mink Sites, we will walk you through the Sacramento Kings deal, a recent deal where Arctos Sports Partners is buying 17% stake in the Sacramento Kings. We'll go through the history of the Sacramento Kings, followed by the details of the deal, and then we will analyze the deal. So let's get started with the history of the Sacramento Kings. The Sacramento Kings are a professional basketball team in the National Basketball Association, the NBA. After the team relocated multiple times and had various names, in 1985, the team became the Sacramento Kings. 13 years later, in 1998, the Maloof family bought the Kings at a valuation of just over $150 million. Now, after that, one thing to mention if you're not a basketball fan is that in 2002, the Sacramento Kings had the best record in the NBA. In that year, the Kings lost to Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal from the Los Angeles Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. This was one of the most famous series in NBA history because of Robert Horry's shot at the buzzer in Game 4 and the controversy around the officiating in Game 6. Now, this video is not focused on basketball, but I'd recommend looking up the details of that series if you're interested. In the years after 2002, the key players gradually left the team, and it hasn't been the same since. In 2013, the Maloof family agreed to sell the Kings to a group led by successful entrepreneur Vivek Ranadive that valued the company at around $535 million. Now, in September 2021, looking at the details of the deal, the deal we are talking about in this video, Arctos Sports Partners has reached an agreement to buy a 17% stake in the Sacramento Kings and a deal that values the NBA franchise at $1.8 billion. So let's analyze the deal. The National Basketball Association, the NBA, changed the ownership rules in early 2021 to allow institutional investors, including private equity firms, to own up to 20% of a single basketball team. Now, while there are many other details to this, the most important point to mention is that the NBA has opened up investment into professional basketball teams to new investors. After the announcement, multiple private equity firms, such as Dial Home Court Partners and Arctos Sports Partners, have been active at purchasing stakes in NBA teams. Looking at Arctos specifically, before the Sacramento deal that we mentioned in this video, in April, Arctos purchased 5% of the Golden State Warriors, valuing the Warriors at over $5 billion. The Warriors are led by two-time MVP Steph Curry, a player that the Sacramento Kings passed on in the 2009 NBA draft. Now, Investors, there is something I'd like to focus on in this transaction. It's not the Sacramento Kings. It's not the NBA, and it's not even basketball. It's on the premise of proactively looking for regulatory changes that can affect an entire industry. In the NBA, the rule change to allow private equity investors has increased the pool of potential investors for NBA teams, which has increased demand, which has increased valuations. Now think for a second. Are there any other industries where a regulatory body or government may change regulations that could increase the pool of potential investors for companies or assets in an industry? Think about that. Investors, in addition to restrictions on private equity ownership, 
There are ownership restrictions in many industries for various reasons, such as restrictions on foreign ownership. If these restrictions change, this can dramatically affect the supply and demand for investments, which can dramatically affect the value of all companies in an industry. When you are looking to invest in a private company, please look beyond the details of the specific company. If you can proactively predict regulations that will positively affect the value of an industry as a whole, well, this can increase the probability of a successful private equity investment.